I want this to be the reality. The reality is that I... It's been floating along, you know? Writing songs about stuff and... I started thinking about time and how it passes and how we measure ourselves against time. And we created all these rules around how we're supposed to tend to spend the time that's passing. And um, I started thinking of myself as a late bloomer, like just someone who like. But the cool thing about a late bloomer is just in the name alone, right? is that it still blooms. It still rises up out the ground and faces the sky at some point. That's what the song's about. It's called Late Bloom. Check one right there with the comps. Yes, check one. Look, I was probably never ready to pay. Anything, anything. Yeah. We, for some reason. I think it was because some, some other person was Jesus, why are you recording? <laughs> Jesus! Jesus! Yeah. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel Soy el agua que mata tu sed El castillo, la torre yo soy La espada que guarda el caudal Tu el aire que respiro yo Y la luz de la luna en el mar La garganta que ansio mojar Que temo ahogar de amor Y cual mis deseos me vas a dar Oh, dices tú mi tesoro Basta con mirarlo I can see how I exploit, you can feel like I exploit my emotional state, my creative, with for a creative outcome. Exploiting your emotional state for a creative outcome. The thing is that when you start to, when you document when your emotional outpours and pretty much any moment of you experiencing any tribulations discoveries when those pure moments all start to become documented when you start when you're not just present in those moments and you end up making those moments uh, <sighs> moments that you find a creative opportunity in what does that do to your psyche because to me 
that sounds like being on the path of exploiting yourself that communicates to myself that these these things are only good for making content out of them these things are almost or maybe i'll just be also thinking these things and this is just but a life of an artist there needs to be a line there needs to be a balance of what moments you'll keep to yourself and and ask and ask myself and ask myself of all of these moments where I'm with myself and I'm processing things that I'm going through how many of those moments are mine which moments that no soul no ear has heard let alone the internet of the world how many of those moments are mine how many of these moments are mine how many of these moments are mine i don't want to be locked out of my own kingdom for the sake of content creation and i pray this over all the work that i do now, i don't know how exactly that is going that how that's going to look like but i believe that if i continue on the path of integrity and um making sure my values stay intact that will be a reality but that's something that really scares me maybe i'll just be overthinking these that's things that's something that really scares me and this is just but a life of an artist